Good day, and welcome to Great Southern Travellers. This is Emma, and I'm Joe. We're a couple of weekend warriors and holiday heroes based in Sydney who spend our free time exploring Australia. Come and join us for the adventure. So, we finally made it onto the road after our decision of where to go. We're currently travelling south towards Goulburn. The, the high country isn't flooded. It's cold, but it, it's not flooded, so we thought that will do. So we're, we're running away to the bush. On our way south, we couldn't resist the call of coffee and one of our favourite towns. So we've decided to have a quick little coffee and breakfast stop. Uh, saw one of those favourite brown signs as we went down the motorway, saying to Berrima. After a short stop in Berrima and a bite to eat at the general store, it was on the road south again, this time following in Slim Dusty's trail, past the dog on the tucker box and along the road to Gundagai. Heading out of Gundagai, we made our way through Tumut and then finally up into the high country. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Look out! Don't cross the road. Don't cross the road, I said, oh, okay, you're both going. Perfect. That's the way it's gonna be, little darling. We'll go riding on the horses, yeah, yeah. And on that dubious note, we'll call it a night. G'day, guys. We're, um... We're on Sunday morning up at Long Plains Hut on the northern Kosciuszko National Park. We're up on the Long Plains, which is pretty gorgeous. It's, um, it's quarter to nine, uh, but we had a fair bit of driving yesterday, so I'm still tucked away, sleeping in the rooftop tent. I'm about to go make her a coffee and wake her up, but um, it's just nice to get a bit of peace and quiet and a bit of open space. All the, all the big rigs have left the campsite, so it's, uh, it's pretty quiet, pretty spacious at the moment. We're just going to relax. Good morning. Good morning. You made me coffee. Thank you. Is that really hot? It's hot coffee. So the coffee machine's working? <laughs> yeah, your like coffee actually... machine is working. You get hot coffee from your coffee machine. Yes. My whole dual battery system is now worthwhile. Yes. After someone had finally emerged to the day, it was time to explore. We knew just what we wanted to see. Uranga Billy. Once we got there, we headed straight underground. Chilabenon Cave is around two million years old, the oldest show cave at Uranga Billy. It's wheelchair accessible, an easy walk, and well worth a visit. Although, as Joe found out, not everyone fits. You have to go what? Sideways and duck. Sideways to the You guys see the little man on the way out. Why do you have a blue knee filled again? Oh, I gave up. 
You know I'm doing a video, right? <laughs> Where are we going again? Going down to the thermal pools in Yoronga Billy. And what does Yoronga Billy mean? Well, actually, you think about a cave like this. Right? right. And then you think about the stalactites and stalactites, there's teeth. So it actually means teeth, mouth of cave, and water coming out. Ah, like a billy. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So Yaranga Billy means mouth with teeth and water. Yeah. Ah. Pretty clever. Named after all the caves with stalagmites, stalagmites and water. Yeah. How good. So we're just going to walk down to the thermal baths. 27 degrees at all times, which I'm pretty keen about. And um, just gonna chill out. Well, or warm up. I'm not sure what the right term is, but uh, relax down there. Warm up. Beautiful rock in the Alps, but it's um, it's not too bad. Sun shining. Give us a bone, yeah, and people going in the pool. Watch out for the step. That's quite a nice temperature. It's a pretty not warm temperature. It's a pretty average temperature. You wouldn't come here like After our swim in the pool and some cold water treatment in the river, it was time to head back to camp and get the fire burning under a full moon and crystal clear sky. So this morning we've woken up to a proper high country morning. That um, um, frost everywhere. It is pretty chilly. Frosty inside the tent. Yeah. So everywhere the moisture collected inside the tent has frozen. <laughs> Um, so just on, on the metal poles and on the cold bits where you'd expect in this weather, the moisture is going to collect. Oh, I've got to do the, the coffee and tea run, but it's pretty spectacular. Once we'd given the tent a little time to defrost and we thawed out with a couple of extra layers, it was time to hit the road again. Come on. Where are we? Uh, don't I? Uh, Adam and Bimby? Adam Abimbi? Yeah. Adam Abimbi. Adam Abimbi. We stopped uh, Adam and Abby. Oh, Adam and Abby. <laughs> we stopped for some um, some food, some coffee. Um, pretty cold last night. Very, very frosty. So, so we're in Adam and Abby and uh, there's definitely something fishy going on. <laughs> uh, anyone who's ever seen me me fishing, well it's more casting not catching, so this is about as close as I'm going to get I reckon. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Join us next time as we head south through Jindabyne and into Victoria. If you liked the video, please like, comment and subscribe. You can also join our adventures on Instagram. Until then, hooroo.